hour was on uh, the Today Show today with uh, David Gregory, the host of Meet the Depressed. And they were having a discussion about the presidential race. And you know, w- one of the things that, a point that we made yesterday, they reflect here. You know, here's Obama, he goes to Cleveland. He doesn't have to go to Cleveland, wherever he blames Bush. What he's really doing is saying he doesn't have what it takes to fix the Bush mess. He'd been working at it three and a half years. And it hadn't gotten any better. By Obama's own admission, his three and a half years have been worthless. Okay, so you want to lay all this off on Bush. You can't, but he does. Lay it all off on Bush. Worse than we thought it was going to be. My predecessor made all of Well, you've been trying to fix it for three and a half years. You can't. Reagan got us out of a recession in two years in the 80s. Obama's out running around. Well, these recoveries need 10 years sometimes. Look at Europe. So these guys at NBC, I don't know if they were listening yesterday or not, but they're picking up on this, this theme, the way we framed it yesterday. If you haven't fixed it yet, why should you get four more years to fix it? Here's how the discussion went. How does Barack Obama go out there on the campaign trail and say, I can do in the next four years what I have failed to accomplish in the last three and a half. I mean, if it comes down to that, Matt, it's a bad day for him. Mitt Romney is running the campaign he wants to run, which is just a referendum. You're not happy about the economy? This guy's been there for four years. Vote him out of office. You need an alternative. What the president's got to do is say, hey, don't forget about George W. Bush. And Matt Lauer then continued. The question is, three and a half years into an administration, do you think that strategy works, the blame Bush strategy, or do people want you to take ownership of this economy at this stage? They want you to take ownership. I think the argument is that they've got to prevail in providing context, saying, look, it's not about blaming the previous president. It's that the the hill was so high to climb. And we're making some progress, but the hole is still so deep. Oh, give me a break. You people are embarrassing yourselves the way you're going out of your way to make excuses for this guy. Because the truth of the matter is Matt Lauer in his first observation. Oh, you want to lay it all on Bush. Okay, you've had three and a half years. And by your own admission, you can't fix it. So why should we give you four more years? And Gregory, who probably hadn't heard that perspective, Oh, oh no, man, if it comes down to that, that's a bad day for Obama. It's been a bad three and a half years for America, Mr. Gregory. You're worried about a bad day for Obama, a bad week or bad two weeks. But it's a legitimate question. You're going to lay it all off on Bush. You're going to blame him. You've got the fixes. You're the guy we should invest in. But by your own admission, you can't. Three and a half years. Bush so screwed it up, you don't have what it takes to fix what Bush did. So why give you four more years? Okay, so that conference, that's Matt O'Hour and David Gregory, and it's traditional Friday. They bring David Gregory on to tout, to promo, meet the press on Friday. On CBS, they do the same thing. Charlie Rose has his weekly gaggle with Bob Schieffer of Slay the Nation. And so, Charlie Rose said to Bob Schieffer, Bob, where are we now in terms of how you see these two competing proposals for fixing the economy? Where are we, Bob? President on the one hand saying, I need more. How many people in this country do you think are wandering around yesterday and last night saying, well, I can't wait for CBS tomorrow for Bob Schieffer to tell us how to fix the economy? How many people? Well, no, I asked a question because the world these people live in, the world they, they, they must live in. Now, here's Charlie Rose, got Schieffer on. Schieffer is an expert, right? We have Schieffer. Okay, Bob, where are we in terms of how you see these two competing proposals fixing the economy? Where are we here? So I'm just wondering how many people, even people that watch CBS, do you know anybody? who last night couldn't wait to get up this morning to hear what Bob Schieffer had to say about how to fix the economy. Nothing against Bob Schieffer. Don't misunderstand. I'm not... Well, these guys obviously think a lot of people are waiting around for it. Why have Schieffer on? I can promote Slay the Nation and people will watch that. When you went to your blogs, did any of you happen to see anybody saying, oh, wait a minute, we should wait to offer our opinions here until Bob Schieffer tells Charlie Rose tomorrow... What's really going on here? Did anybody see that? 
You didn't, Brian? Well, then, it wasn't there. If Brian didn't see it, it wasn't there. And yet, here's Charlie Rose, Bob Schieffer, in a promo, Face the Nation on Sunday, says, hey, Bob, where are we here? In, uh, in terms of how you see these two competing proposals for fixing the economy. The president, on the one hand, is saying, I need more time. On the other hand, saying, if uh, Romney's elected, it means uh, Bush policies. On the other hand, Governor Romney says the president's had enough time to fix it, and he hasn't. And so here is Bob Schieffer uh, with the breathless, exciting, whatever we all should take away. The country is very divided. We know that. Uh, people are, I've never seen in all the time I've been in Washington that the gap is so wide. But people get locked into these positions. We used to elect people uh, not just because of their general principles and because we agreed with their principles, but we elected them because we trusted their judgment. People have to change. People have to make compromise. There you have it, folks. So that's what's ahead for the economy and the two competing visions. You're waiting until today to find out what was in store. There's your answer. We'll take a brief.